One of the newer technologies out, which is not being uh, performed by very many people, even across the nation, is what's known as lumbar disc replacement. In the past, everyone who had degenerative disc disease would be talked about having a lumbar fusion, which means taking two bones and trying to make them one in the attempts to isolate that level so that it no longer moves. What we know from younger patients that have the same issue is that they end up with adjacent level. The disc above begins to go bad because it's no longer moving at the level below. The newest technology out now is lumbar disc replacement. Instead of fusing that level, we place an artificial disc at the level of the problem, which maintains normal motion of the lumbar spine which significantly reduces the need for additional or revision surgery later on. But you have to have the right patient. There are certain indications for this surgery. They should be younger than 50. They should have isolated one level degenerative disc disease and relatively normal anatomy at the level above you're considering doing surgery on. The reason that you need a younger patient is because the artificial disc allows normal motion. If you have a lot of arthritis in the joints at that same level, you're not going to eliminate their back pain. Those joints are actually going to be moving a lot more. Hence, you're going to have a patient with a wonderful product and they're going to be unhappy at their outcome. Also, this is an isolated level. Typically, patients above 50 are going to have multi-level degenerative disc disease or multi-level arthritis and this would not be appropriate for their treatment.